Today I'm going to talk about a YouTuber who had the audacity to make a clickbait video. And this is and this isn't the first time he did this to a YouTuber. He does it to everyone else too. He's known for like like literally this video I just want to say I'm doing a gift card giveaway I'm giving away Amazon gift cards iTunes gift cards or any other gift card of your choice which you can use to buy a bucks robux or anything you would like so all you have to do to enter is like the video subscribe and click the bell and turn on all notifications for this channel and make sure to share this video with at least one person also you have to watch this full video all the way to the end and comment down below you completed all the steps and which gift card you would like and i will contact you I'm also giving away iPhone 11s. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share the video with one person, and turn on all post notifications for this channel to enter this giveaway. Also, stay active for my channel and watch all my new videos. As you can see at the time of recording, he has about 30.6k subscribers. And. Not only has he put tags in the videos the right way, but uh, he's also been tag stuffing. Yeah, he's been tag stuffing his videos. Now, this isn't the only YouTube video that he has done to make extremely, insanely terrible clickbait content. He also made a video about uh, Kobe Bryant. If you, if you know what that video is, well, he made it, which had been titled as, I think Kobe Bryant is, is still alive or something like that. He, he made that video too, when uh, Kobe Bryant died, and... Since then, he's been growing, growing at a successful rate for all the wrong reasons, though. I definitely think that tag stuffing is against the, the YouTube community guidelines, which it is. Don't get me wrong. People back in the day, in like 2014 to 2013, they tag stuff all the time. And I don't even understand why people would continue to do that when uh, they know that uh, it is against these, this rule in the first place. Also, he puts a lot of ads in his videos. 
It's a 14 minute long video. Yeah, it's like... He puts a lot of ads. All he did... Through the entire video... Is to is to DM DJ Cook. I mean, this is the most scummiest video I ever seen in my entire life. I don't know how anybody would continue to click big. Clickbait DJ Cook's name for clout. I mean, he actually saw this video three weeks ago. I mean, this is what he commented. He commented, what the fuck? He definitely wasn't expecting this, but still. I don't know how this guy can, like... Get all the clout that he wanted. By making... These so-called viral videos, and all of a sudden gets viral, viral up to 3k views on this video. I mean, this is just insane to me that he would take the time to make a clickbait video about DJ Cook getting coronavirus. As if I knew it, as if I actually knew that he got the coronavirus here, which he probably didn't. He probably didn't get the coronavirus this year. At the time of recording them, up to the third ad of this video. Want me to tell you how many ads he put? I'll tell you 
as they are counted each time. I'm 7 min 10 and I already got the fourth ad of, of this video. This is probably the fifth ad that I watched so far of this video, and it's eight minutes long, and we're eight minutes in already. Like. Six ads later, and it's ten minutes since I watched the video. Ten minutes. I think this is my sixth six or seventh ad that I've seen so far, and we are now 12 minutes in. Like, This is insane. Thank you. 
I mean, I really don't know what to say. But... When you melt... When you create... Fake content of somebody who isn't alive or somebody who didn't really have COVID-19 because this person, like uh, DJ Cook, I soon stayed home all day and did not go to these ridiculous fucking parties like uh, Bryce Hall or any other influencer that does. I mean, I knew this video was very sketchy from the moment I first saw it the last three weeks. And... It's... it's just... a nuisance. I mean, this guy happened to do this for Cloud. He still has that video up. Because he wants clout. He wants cloutfulness. That's all he wanted to do. Is to get clout. He. He clicked bait. It's a title. And it gets views. And I definitely think he should not have been doing that. And, yeah, trust me, I know that nowadays YouTube is, isn't really good for some small creators, but when you, the creator yourself, is trying to break the YouTube terms of service by getting away with stuff like this, one day your channel will have to be terminated by YouTube themselves just because you shouldn't be doing stuff like this. I mean, come on. Kobe Bryant isn't a lie. And you know that. You know that for sure. Right? You know. So these people believe Kobe R is dead already, but some other fans are kind of skeptical about it and think he's still alive for being glad to read some of these articles. And see what other fans are thinking. Let's also talk about the gift card giveaway. I think this old school of giving out gift cards on YouTube in a video um, hasn't worked for other YouTubers like uh, Derv. And, uh, Derv got terminated because he didn't actually give any gift cards to anybody. Not sure some of his fans got it. But not everybody got the gift cards. And, uh, for you to be doing a gift card giveaway, yeah, that will count for your channel to be terminating one day. So I would advise you to like not promote it so much because if you keep promoting a gift card giveaway and you haven't actually done anything to to give it to your viewers and then, yeah, um, <clears throat> you'll probably lose your YouTube channel. So, uh, just a thought. I would, uh, stop with the giveaways, if I were you. Okay, so I counted that there is at least four ads on this video. But still, uh, I don't think you should, like, 
clickbait people into thinking that they actually do have the coronavirus in order to confuse them. Because again, I'm pretty sure DJ Cook never went out to these stupid super spreader parties in order to actually get COVID or to walk with a bunch of people who never even dare to wear a mask because they don't care about their health and safety of others. Unlike DJ Cook, he cares a lot about his life and he does not want to get COVID. That's why he doesn't have the virus yet. And if he accidentally did, then he would have said that he had the coronavirus. So, yeah. And another thing, another YouTuber made a video about this and pretty much exposed this ch channel for lying about DJ Cook as I just said like earlier on into the video that he does not have the coronavirus and if he did he then would have said that Are you lying? Why are you always lying? Epic music Good morning It's the next day we never believe it but another fake YouTuber. Who we're talking about today is called Video Viral. Uh, he doesn't upload very good videos. He's just basically like every other bad YouTuber. But worse, just to name a couple of videos that he makes, uh, I'm not even going to read that one. He's also saying a bunch of famous YouTubers are going to die. One of the which, yeah, D-U Kodak. And DJ Cook. Uh, at the start, I realized because I was in the middle of editing it, it sounded like I was sarcastic. It was so sad. I wasn't meaning uh, DJ Cook like best friends. <laughs> With this. And I agree. I I agree 100. percent I'll leave the link to that video in the description below if you haven't checked already. One more thing, better videos, if you're watching this, please kind of do better than clickbaity stuff. It's going to really seriously get you in trouble.